Does your hood end up looking like this after you're done wrapping? Well, today we're gonna to show you why it does and how to avoid that. Let's go. The thing about hoods is it's not hard. It's not difficult. I think it's one of the easier ones, but what people end up doing is they just kind of lay it out, start squeezing real fast, and then they get this wrinkles down the center. So what we want to do when wrapping is we, we say in the wrap community glassing, right? So let's just say I tack one corner. This is like my corner of the hood. Instead of just tacking it as is, you want to stretch it across just a little bit. It's a very slight stretch. You're creating that tension across like this and then you're going to make sure that you tack that and then once you have these two tack and there's tension pulling this way you actually want to create this triangle like this and you're going to pull down and also sideways like this right away from each other and when you do that you can see that there are no wrinkles it is glassy it is nice and clean and once you do that you're going to be able to kind of go down and do one or two inch strokes and you're gonna get a very, very clean hood, just like that. However, if you don't do that, I'm just gonna exaggerate it a little bit, and you had a lot more materials down the center and you didn't stretch it across, what's gonna happen is something like this. And you have this material just kind of floating around like, like so. And when you get to that center, you're gonna to have to deal with all these fingers like that. So it's really important to stretch it across a four-way stretch you got this way right and then after that you're pulling it across that way but it allows it to be a lot easier you can overlap you can squeegee it and your hood is going to be really really nice and wrinkle free if you learned something click on the subscribe button and if you have any questions about the stretching on a hood let us know in the comments below good luck with your hood and that's a wrap